Hi, we're here at the Knights Table in Brampton to interview James, Samantha and Vera about their duties at the Knights Table. James, go back man. Will it make it easier on my office? This is my office, okay? Forgive me for the mess, but I'm ready to prepare to make this like a supermarket uh, food bank. Okay, James, can you tell us why you're so committed to this food bank? Because I was one of the people here. These are my people that I serve. And I'm dedicated because I relate to these people. They're homeless, unfortunate, most of them. Uh, they come in and use the uh, facilities at the food bank. What happened to you? You told me a story earlier. Uh, why are you here today? Uh, it's because I was homeless for four months last year. They found me outside the night's, night's table February last uh, this year. With no shoes, no jacket on, freezing to death. They took me in here and showed me concern. How often are you here? Monday to Friday. 7.30 to 4 o'clock. What makes you angry when you're here? Uh, <laughs> Laziness from the other volunteers, uh, greed from customers, uh, rudeness from the customers. But you told me that what really makes you angry is disrespect. Yes. Can you describe that? Well, we're here to help people, like for food, meals, and the homeless are unfortunate. You should appreciate it. Like some of them come in here, they're very disrespectful, they're inconsiderate, everything. They don't care how hard you work. It's always there. It's not about them. It's about the night's table. I'd like to introduce to you the beautiful and talented Samantha. Your student at Sheridan College. And what are you studying there? Social service work. Um, what year is this for you? This is our second year. Your second year. And, and this is Vera. Yeah. Are you in the same program as Samantha? Same as her. Same as her. How often or how much time do you spend here? Yeah. Um, basically, we're here from Wednesday to Friday, uh, from 9 to 5. Okay. This is part of your uh, your uh, volunteer work for the job? It's the placement. Where do you hope to work down the road? Me, I would like to work for a center with like, abused women. That's mainly where I like to go. So I figured if I came here, the chances of me meeting different individuals, going through different things, maybe my steer me towards a better path of maybe something more specific. So what is, what is your hope down there? Basically, I'm trying to just get myself out there and try to find out what I want to do. I'm not really sure yet. And I can't be holding on to what you've got When all you've got is a hurt